So welcome back to the GE71. I am the Radio Man 03, and we are playing Minecraft on the Xbox 3 City. City Texture Pack on the GE71, of course, looks gorgeous. Hope everyone's doing great. Thanks for coming back and stopping by the old girl with me. I thought I'd do a little more work on it, and, um, yeah, so I thought we'd come on down. I'm checking to see if our minecarts, which direction they went when they came down here. Perfect, they're going to be down that away, so that's going to be absolutely beautiful. All right, well, well, of course, we're down the mine here right now, and I want to get things kind of set up so that we can handle this sort of stuff in different locations, because we have a lot of extra power now with uh, the added bonuses to... Uh, the game. So let's go ahead and get set up here. I want to fix our pick in our hand. Let's see what we got here. This is one thing I want to do for today. What's that going to cost me? 29 levels. Wow, 29 levels. Okay, so we're going to have to hold off on that for just a little bit. I don't quite have 29 levels. We will, though, once we get down uh, stairs. We're going to go back down the laboratory. I've got a few things I want to change down there. Trick, trick, trip wires. We're going to have to use those. We're definitely going to have to get some of those into use. All right. Uh, yeah, I thought, you know what? Um, I love coming back and playing on this world, uh, despite the fact that the biomes are, you know, traumatized. There's just so many things that came to the game that I thought, you know, it sure would be fun to play them and try them out on the GE71, because I sure do love being back here and running around my old base. I sure do. I sure do. I'm thinking about changing either this out to uh, uh, quartz stairs and turning them in like we did on the house on Radiocraft and then leaving this red or putting the white up here and leaving the stairs flat like this and then I want to put uh, uh, quartz right across here and then be right across here too on each staircase and do that all the way up and see what that looks like. But I don't have to go get quartz for that, and I don't, I don't want to do that right now. I want to go down to the laboratory and get a, the, just the, those finishing touches on it. One of you guys suggested that I go back and uh, put flower pots in. Well, I just happened to be cleaning out uh, inventory and and uh, just checking the chest, you know, refamiliarizing myself with the storage room, and uh, I found a, a nice little clump of uh, clay bricks so we do have some pots so we can take the plants and we can uh, you know change them in the, the observation rooms this is not working our villager got away immediately uh, I'm willing to bet he can jump over this right here and he could jump well, I guess he can't jump up into there so that's safe but we're gonna actually have to um, cap these right here but I've got an idea and I want to try something out and see if uh, it'll work I, I think I've got an idea on how to stop them from being able to jump over that so that's one of our problem spots this could be a problem spot as well jump over grab hold of those vines and then boom it just pulls him right over the edge and he dies so anyways at the last time we were here at the laboratory the last time we saw the villager on the video was the last time I ever saw him again <laughs> so he most certainly I think is dead unless he's somewhere back in the world here uh, crawling around I don't know we're on right yeah we've got it turned on I also thought it would be very cool if we uh, captured a, a zombie villager down here uh, I thought that would be really cool actually if we did something like that um, for the sole fact that uh, I don't have any bricks on me do I hmm it's gonna break. Oh, we got zombies coming already. This is a zombie villager. I figured we could. I, what I was gonna say is we could sort out the zombie villagers with this system, and we could turn them into regular villagers, and then of course bring them in here. Oh my gosh! I got everything put away, don't I? Do I have any supplies down here at all? Oh my gosh! I don't think I do. Oh wait, 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 wait. There we go. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's what we needed—a stone brick. Boom. Just like that. And see right here, if that's the case, then he's going to jump over this. He could jump over this and get down below here. Um, I don't think he is, though. Let's go take a look. We get slime down here. I'm going to clear this out. I want... Yeah. That's a slime chunk. Yeah, look at that down there. Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll get a couple levels going in here, and we can have slime galore. Uh, you just think about all the different things that never got done on this world, and I love it so much. And since we're having to wait for the, uh, you know, game to come out for the Xbox One, 
Um, when it comes to a, a single player world, this is a, this is a great world. So I'm going to go ahead and use it every now and again. And we'll put some videos up here and there and we'll work on this world. Um, okay. We have our brewing stand here. Let's see. That was full of that stuff. So let's go ahead and put this into here. Um, we want gold. We want some bricks for uh, bottles. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll throw the blaze powder in there. The gunpowder is going to go in there. This is so we can make some potions and deal with uh, uh, the zombie villagers. We're probably going to see one or two go by right now, but I'm not ready to watch for one. I wanted to get a few things uh, taken care of real quick, some, some maintenance stuff. So let's go ahead and... Okay, all this stuff is... Okay, perfect. Give me that, give me that. Give me that. Let's try it like this. Boom. We could change out the grass blocks too. Oh, lovely. Perfect. Nope, nope. <laughs> Let's plant that. There we go. Oh, that looks really nice. Yeah, that looks a little more like a study area, right? You're studying it. Um, so we have two more left. I have, I have a cactus. Can I put this on top of a bookshelf? I can. Oh! Oh, beautiful. What about here, too? Oh, I sure can. Oh, that is most excellent. Look at that. That is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you for suggesting me coming and actually doing the pots in there. That looks really, really good. I like that much better. Much, much better. Yeah, great idea. Great idea. So we can get a zombie villager in there. We can we can cure him and everything. Yeah. That'll be cool. Um, the map has got to go. This does not work. That's, that's a no-go. That is a failure. It does not work. Let's put the item frame back in there. Like so. I'm just kind of hanging out today, you know? I had a couple ideas of what I wanted to do, and that's about it. What are we going to put inside there? Uh, ooh, let's put this lit. There we go. <laughs> cool. Yeah. That works. Redstone lamp in there. It is, it's even lit, too. For some reason, sometimes when you pick them out, they stay lit. I don't know if it's maybe it's because I'm using silk touch or what. But yeah. What do you think of me? Looking pretty good, huh? Pretty sharp. Look at those burns on the side of my head. Yeah. Burning. Burning, burning hunk of love. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, another thing I thought about doing down here. What do we got? Ooh, some creepers. Hello there, boys. Give me XP. I need 29 so I can fix my pick. Um. <clears throat> oh no, it's all upstairs. It's gonna be all upstairs. Hmm. We gotta go back up. We gotta go back up to the storage room. I need to go to the wool chest. Uh, I totally forgot that I moved everything out of here. I mean, this place is. Uh, Pretty spick and span, you know what I mean? Pretty spick and span. So I hope you'll join me every time you see the GE71 pop up on the screen. As far as uh, video suggestions, I hope you grab it and watch it. I think we're going to have fun. Yeah, we'll just keep uh, tinkering with her. Um, what did I come back here for? I hate it when I do that. I just hate it when I do that. Uh, oh, oh, wool, 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 wool. <laughs> I remember now. It's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me. Don't you worry. I got it. I got my old head stirred, screwed on real nice and tight here. There we go, baby. Let's take a couple of those and, uh, yeah, let's take a couple of those. Let's see here. We want to make some carpet. White. Oh, man. Did, did, did we see any, do we see any ink sacks in there? I don't think we do. We were looking for them last time because we needed just a few, and no, we don't. What is this? Ooh, this is gray dye, though. Okay. All right. Excellent. Excellent. We could try some of that, too. Uh, yeah, we can definitely try some of that. Let's go ahead and get some... Uh, we got the white carpet already. Let's get some gray carpet as well. Uh, yes. What do I need? Oh, I need to make the gray wool first. Okay. Duh. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, we can make about that many. We can make more downstairs. We have our, we have what we need down there, too. Uh, there we go. That's what we want right there. Perfect. All right. 
Let's go on downstairs. I closed it up. Okay, let's go down. Uh, no, let's go back to the laboratory. Let's see just what we got going on downtown. Um, also, you mean the 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 anvil, the books, all that stuff is, is started here. So I need I need a that Enderman farm that we have on Radiocraft is so good. It works so well. And we do have the material to do it right now. With the killing of the slime that are down here right now, we would definitely have the material to be able to do that kind of a farm here at the uh, GE71. So that is most definitely a possibility. Let's go on... Uh, here's. Let's go back out here real quick. I wanted to see about... <laughs> about doing something like this. Now, can the villagers still jump up there and get over something like this? I don't know. If, is the carpet just high enough to where they can't get over? Oop. I don't know. Boy, those are tough to place. Maybe I'm too. Maybe I'm being too precise with it, huh? Nope, I guess I'm not. <laughs> you should be precise with it. Now, can I jump over this? I think I can, but can the can a villager jump over that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to try it first, though, like this, to see if that'll stop them. Um, if it does, that's great. Okay, so they can't get up over this. They can't get up over here. I'm assuming, I'm hoping, they can't get up over that and this here. Um, okay, but if they do go through this door... They will then meet up with this right here, which means they can they can get over this right here. Of course, they could just, you know, walk right up over the top of this. I also thought maybe he went up into the tunnel, but that was not the case either. I did not ever find that villager. Um, let's go ahead and just for safety's sake... Uh, let's see. If we do that... Yeah, let's just go right there. Beautiful. Just like that, okay? We can go through there. We're not going to take any damage going through those. And, and can he jump? Can we jump over this? No. We'd have to be... Okay, we'd have to be running in order to do that. And they're not going to do that. They're not going to... Yeah, see, I can j run and jump. But they don't do that. So we don't have to worry about that. All right. Now, this is our other safety issue right here when it comes to the villagers. Is the carpet right here? Uh-huh. Come on, baby. Work with me. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna chain we're gonna do a zombie villager. We're gonna get him done, uh, heal him, and then we're gonna set him loose, and uh, we'll watch him and see exactly what he does. It's probably gonna take me quite a while to record this video because we have to first we have to capture one. So once I do that, of course, we'll start recording, and then we'll heal one up. But I hope this works just like that. I'll get some more carpet and I'll finish this up while I'm waiting to find a zombie villager so we have that at least put in place and I think that's the last piece we have to worry about is this rail right here they could jump over and uh, you know fall to their death basically so let me do that and uh, I'll be right back all right jackpots come here that's right swim right to me Nice. Mm-hmm. Getting squid. Need some more gray carpet. That's all I'm doing right now. Just swimming around and getting squid. <laughs> I remember now what I forgot to grab while we were downstairs here. I wanted to check the rail carts, but I also wanted to get some nether wart. We need that in order to cure uh, the uh, villagers. So let's go ahead and get some of that real fast. Oh, this has got to come down too. <laughs> that was kind of a... That was our demo for the uh, quartz. Uh, let's see here. Uh, bah, 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 bah. <sighs> another wart, another wart. Okay, well, they've got 61 here. i tell you what, let's... Um, we never do harvest this stuff. Let's do it. We go. We never make too many potions, right? Auto save. What? We'll be back right after this auto save. Please stay tuned. And welcome back. And thank you so much. Thank you so much for hanging around. I appreciate your time. Those are nice. 
We could get some of those quartz things and put them back downstairs in the laboratory and put that conduit back the way it was, just like it was before they swapped out the texture for the gray wool. We could do something like that. It would look better. That stuff really does look like conduit. It just seems like a very expensive block to use for, <laughs> for conduit. Anyways, I don't know. Oh, it's just my mind. It's just my mind going crazy. Pay attention. Pay no attention. Oh, see, now look at there. This world is so weird. The map shows up just fine right there, but not downstairs. It's interesting. Hmm, I wonder why. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder why. I think I've got what we need. A um, bunch of gray wool, so we can turn that into carpet and finish that up. Some gold. Oh, I forgot the dang apples. That's one of the things I went up there for. Ay, 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 ay. I'll be right back. <laughs> As I was saying, okay, <laughs> we have apples in our head now. We're much better off. We have apples. Let's finish up that idea that I was talking about. Took uh, Captain Bucko quite a few hours to get the right zombie to fall into his trap and come to him so he could change, uh, uh, heal it, and turn it into a, a, a you know, a healed villager. So yeah, I'd be kind of curious to see what happens here. That's for sure. Let's uh, drop these apples in here. Another wart. How do we ferment a spider eye? Is that in the food? Fermented spider eye. Oh, we need... Oh, I didn't know that. We need the brown mushrooms and sugar as well. Oh, so we're going to have to work on those ingredients for sure. Okay, we've got some ingredients like that upstairs. We have enough for a few potions. I'll get what's needed. I didn't know it was that. Hmm. I guess I should have checked that while I was up by storage, right? Yeah, that would have been a smart thing to do. So let me go and let me make sure we've got the stuff we need for this little project right here, and we'll come back and do that. Alrighty. Let's make as many as we can. I think we can make 16. That's how many brown mushrooms I had. Okay, so 16 fermented spider eyes taken care of. Let's see, let's grab the nether wart. Let's grab a nether wart. We're going to make three potions. Uh, we need bottles as well. Let's make a bunch of bottles up. Let's see here. Let's go right here. Bottles. There we go. Boom. 24. That should be plenty, right? Yeah, I would think so. Uh, let's just keep three of those. Two, three. Uh, we need water. Ooh, we're going to have to get an eternal water source going for sure. Hmm. Oh, what do you think of the white carpet? What do you think of that? I kind of like it. With the glowstone hanging out and then the pressure plates. It makes for a really smooth transition. It makes it also looks more uh, laboratory looking too, you know? It's, it's very bright and white. I like it. So uh, I think we're going to go with carpet, white carpet on this floor down here. I think it looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and uh, fill up our... Now, there's, the rain is supposed to fill these cauldrons up now, so that... that that could be cool. Let's get this going first. First the nether wart, and then we put in uh, the fermented spider eye, and then we add the gunpowder, and that makes it a splash potion. And we have the gold and the apples in the chest. We can turn those into golden apples. So we're going to make a potion of weakness here. This should be the potion of weakness, and then we throw this on them, we splash it on them. And then we feed them a golden apple, and then they turn into a regular villager, and then we turn them loose, which would be cool. Right, potion of weakness. Weakness, there we go. Boom, boom. All right, beautiful. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, man, I almost forgot a very important step. They are not going to grab that and drink it on their own. We are going to have to hit them with it. we got to make those splash potions, doggone it. Those have got to be splash potions. And throw the sugar in there. And then we're good there. Oh, we've got four pieces of carpet left, huh? Let's throw those in while we're waiting for those potions to finish up. And then I'm going to go up there and scout out and see if I can't find uh, a zombie villager. And I guess I'll post this video as soon as I have one in our trap and ready for uh, you know for testing so uh, who knows how long this could possibly take
Okay, we finally got one. Boy, it is the next day. I have been here forever waiting for a zombie villager to come by. I actually just got home from work, plopped down, turned this on, and he's the fourth mob to come through the door here. So we're going to shut this off, get him backed up against that piston, click it, give him a one-two, click it again, and uh, there we go. He is inside our trap. Let's turn our test tube water, our test tube doors open. Come on, my friend. We are going to heal you and turn you into a legitimate villager once again. Oh, man, I can't believe how long it took. It took quite a while. He's going to take a little bit of damage when he falls. Just a little bit, though. Just a little bit. Test tube doors closed. Test tube water off. And main door back open. Creeper should continue forward. Excellent, excellent. Oh, my gosh. It's been forever. I don't know how many of these regular guys went by yesterday, but there was a bunch of them, and it has taken forever. By the way, I got all the carpet put in here. I, think, I hope you guys like how that looks. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm thinking about doing it in these rooms as well, the garden rooms, but I'm not too sure yet. Oh, I'm so excited. We got one. All right, so first we hit him with a potion of weakness, and then we feed him the apple, and he starts to shimmer and shake. <laughs> we poisoned him. We weaknessed ourselves as well, but that's okay. There he is. There he is. Oh, I'm so glad he's here. Yeah, after I got done recording the first part of this video, and I said we're going to stick around and wait for the zombie villager to show up, I sat around for about two hours, two and a half hours waiting and just recording nothing happening. And then I gave up. You know, went and did whatever else I did, dinner and stuff like that, and came back today from work and plopped down. Like I said, he's about the fourth guy that showed up. Now, this could take as long as five minutes uh, but we've seen it actually happen within a minute to a minute and a half as well. So let's see just how long it's going to take him before he changes into a legitimate villager once again. Captain Bucko on his world actually had uh, all his villagers die. And he did the same thing where he just waited. And he got a couple together and then he started breeding them. And now he's got villagers again. So uh, kudos to Bucko. He did find out though that you can't... Get the zombies to come from the mob spawner boxes, these villager zombies. They have to come from, like, our, our trap right here above the laboratory. It's just a random spawn thing. It's not a, a spawn box thing as far as I know. So uh, that's pretty cool. Come on, my friend. We, we need you in here. We, we need a quality scientist. <laughs> it's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I know. I know. I know. It's, it's, it's been horrible, hasn't it? You know what? I'm going to need like a piston or something on this piece of glass right here to be able to open that door up. I'm going to have to rig that up and find out a way to uh, open this up so I can actually let them out once they're healed. Hmm. Anyways, we'll work on that later. For now, we'll just break the piece of glass out and let him out. And then we got to kind of watch him for a while and see if he can escape out of the laboratory area. I'm kind of hoping he'll stay inside the laboratory here and not take off outside these doors, but they're pressure plates, so odds are he will. I'm not going to lose too much sleep about it. He might, he might not. And I'm not too sure about the carpet on the glass that we put. I don't know if that's going to stop him either. I'm having a feeling that I know when you put carpet on the fences, they can't jump fences, but uh, we are able to then get up on top of the fence and go over if you put a, a slice of carpet up there. Uh, we'll just see what happens with him. I'm going to follow him around for a little while and see if he, uh, you know, he stays put. So it looks like this one's going to be one of the, the longer uh, transformations. But that's how you do it. Potion of Weakness, Golden Apple. And then we just have to wait and we'll see what kind of villager we get. Actually, I believe I can leave him in there for now. And he won't despawn. He should stay put, the villager. They don't despawn. So we might keep him there for a little bit. I wonder if we've had any others go by that I should be made aware of. Don't know. Don't know. I'm just excited he's here finally. Because it's taken so long. And I know I could bring one down from the village we have outside and just bring the villagers in here. Which, by the way, would be a possibility on here if we look at the map. Um, if we were to cut through that wall right over there, the end wall, we could actually run a tunnel. There he is! Ta-da! What do we got here? A butcher. He wants raw pork chops for an emerald. I don't have any raw pork chops, man. I don't. I'm sorry. You're going to stay right there. Actually, uh, uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, part of me wants to turn him loose and just see what he does. Let's do it. Come on, buddy. Come on out of there. No? You don't want to? I saved you. We saved you. Yeah. 
You were destined for the, the spawner down there. We're gonna the grinder. We were just gonna stick you with a sword. So I'm glad you're uh, I'm glad you're okay. We'll see what he does. We'll see if he can even get out of these rooms. I'm pretty sure he can. Oh, what are you do okay? He just glitched out. And I got my 30 XP, so we we can enchant another book here. So we're we're doing really well with the. Uh, oh, there's one more creeper in there. Thought I heard a hiss. Oh, there he is. There we go. Got him. I thought I heard a creeper go hiss. Has he come out of that little area yet? He has? Oh, look at him. He's already getting to work. He's already getting to work. Okay, so it's very possible for them to obviously get through these uh, piston doors. I've actually had creepers and stuff work the doors and be able to go in and out. But nevertheless, we do have our first villager down here. Kind of wish he'd been the uh, the guy with the uh, white tea, the white dress shirt with the uh, does he have a pocket protector? I don't know, but he's got glasses on. But anyways, we do have this guy right here, and uh, success. We weeded out a uh, zombie villager from the trap, healed him, rescued him, and now he is part of the GE71 laboratory. Love it, absolutely love it. Think it's great. So, you know, I'll try to do that a few more times, get a few more in here, and we'll see. Uh, maybe they will. Maybe they just won't, uh, won't get out. We'll have to see. Anyways, I'm going to watch him for a while. I'm just going to hang out down here and kind of see what he does. Uh, that's going to be the end of the episode. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that great stuff. I'm the Radio Man 3 Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you again next time.